We're here at the Sony booth with Juan Martinez. Now, Juan, last year you guys introduced the FS100, which brought Super 30 my Super 35 millimeter sensors in a true video camera format to a whole new affordable level. Now, the FS700, which we have right here, is being introduced uh, as a high-speed HD camera that is, again, at a new affordable level that no one's been able to attain before. So tell us about it, tell us what makes it special, and why I need to have it. <laughs> well, the FS700 is a second uh, camera in the family of uh, FS series. Uh, it shares with the FS100 the same type of lens mount, it's an E-mount. And this E-mount has a very shallow flange, which means that with a simple tube extender with the right kind of bayonet on it, you can mount virtually any 35 millimeter lens. So it can accept as all legacy SLR lenses, um, DSLRs, uh, or even um, uh, cinematography lenses. So no other camera uh, system offers th this kind of flexibility for lensing. Now, given that the the, the flange distance is on the, on this FS series cameras and the E mount is so narrow, we were not able to implement a traditional type of neutral density filter on the FS100. Uh, the 700 does have a brand new developed uh, filter assembly which were stolen technology from the F65 to develop. So it has a brand new mechanism it's a turret, actually, it's no longer a, a, like a film strip, and it gives us four positions, clear, two stops, four stops, and six stops of attenuation. The image sensor on the camera is also super 35 millimeter size, as the FS, FS100 is, but in this case, this is a 4K image sensor, and it is used to capture high definition which much greater resolution and fine detail and image texture that you could with a HD sensor. So this camera produces beautiful images without any requirement for any kind of electronic enhancement of the image to make it look sharper. So it's very sharp in the good sense of the word. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Cinebate, tools for filmmakers and photographers. Della Luce, apparel for filmmakers. Zeiss, we make it visible. It can gear at very high speed. So the sensor is capable of running at up to 960 frames per second. The camera can run continuously uh, up to 60 frames per second. And uh, then on, 120 and 240, in a burst at full HD resolution, 1920 by 1080. At 480 and 960, the resolution is reduced. Um, the camera can shoot uh, at, at both 120 and 240, can capture and then play back 80 seconds uh, long clips of uh, very high quality slow motion. Now, let me ask you, when you guys decided to go with those 120 and 240, I'm sure you knew that no one has come close to that for this affordable level. Uh, what made you decide to, to take that leap and actually offer that to the masses? Well, we knew that this is something that, uh, slow motions is something that everyone wants to do uh, creatively. Uh, it, it is very beautiful. It is able to capture human emotion or or a movement and an image in a, in a very beautiful way. So creatively, it's a very powerful tool. And we may not know it, or we may not notice it, but we're watching slow motion all the time. You watch commercials, or you watch movies, you're gonna see an awful lot of uh, slow motion. Until now, you have to spend a lot of money to shoot slow motion. You need it from $30,000 to $100,000 to buy a slow motion camera. And we have reached a point where we can release this camera at under ten thousand dollars. So it is our it is our intention to produce a camera that can generate the highest possible quality, that can use virtually any lens at a very affordable price. So this is where we're aiming at. So it, this is a um, also a world cam. So you can shoot with this camera and produce images that will be distributed in the United States or in Europe. 
Now, I know that there are certain people that are saying that the FS100 didn't quite have the same highlight roll-off as a traditional DSLR, and there are some minor concerns with that. I understand that there's been some improvements in there. What other improvements have been uh, have come along for the sensor to make this even better than any camera that has been out before? Well, this camera uh, has uh, four cinegammas, the same cinegammas that are on the F3 camera, and it can capture very high highlight uh, detail. Uh, without having any type of artifacts on the image. The, the FS100 can do pretty good on its own, uh, but this camera is uh, superior in that regard as well. Both cameras have the same sensitivity, so even though the pixels on this camera are a lot smaller, uh, this camera has the same base sensitivity and the same uh, sensitivity as, as FS100. Now, of course, a big thing about this camera is the 4K readiness. What can you tell us about that? Uh, why is that such an amazing thing? And what can we expect for the future? Well, this camera is equipped with a 3G HD-SDI connector on the rear. And this connector um, currently only outputs HD, so 422 8-bit, all the way up to 1920 by 1060p. And eventually, uh, we are, with, with a future update, this port will be able to output a 4K signal. And this 4K signal will be captured by a Sony recorder and will enable 4K workflows. Um, the, we're not ready at this moment to uh, expand on what 4K is going to look like, but uh, this is as much as we can talk about at the moment. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Cinevate, tools for filmmakers and photographers. Della Luce, apparel for filmmakers. Zeiss, we make it visible. You know, you have mentioned the possibility of, the, of a raw workflow. Is that something that you can elaborate on at all? Not at all. So, <laughs> so we will um, provide the means of uh, outputting a signal from the camera to a 4K recorder that will capture these images and then you can develop them into anything you like. You can, we envision that many people would, many, uh, would want to uh, capture 4K but distribute in 2K or in the HD, which will in this case you can achieve very high quality 444 um, uh, color resolution when you downscale the 4K image to 2K or to HD. I've noticed that you've moved some of the ports around in the in the camera for like the XLR cables and stuff like that, and the build it definitely feels more robust than than the FS100. Uh, what kind of design went into that? Well, the camera is. Um, we had feedback in the case of the handle that it felt flimsy, even though we never had a, a, a handle fail on us. But it did feel loose, and now um, we have a very robust uh, handle that's anchored with two screws. Um, the, we've added a Ari Rosette, which is something that is uh, very proud of. And you can actually use uh, Cine uh, accessories to relocate the, uh, the hand grip down into the front of the camera um, it, if you're using longer lenses, long heavy lenses. It, because of the, uh, it's an Ari Rosette, is compatible with existing uh, ARRI accessories. The handle itself is also a breakthrough. It has is a multifunction. It has a momentary iris. It has a photo um, button to capture still images and expanded focus. This is another major improvement. The FS100 shares this, where we have four times and eight times magnification and a window that you can uh, pan and scan and locate on the, on the screen. Uh, as you can see, there is a zoom rocker, and this is another thing that we're not talking about at the moment, but you can imagine there will be something that will work with this at some time. Or that I'm excited about. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, about the, uh, the, the outputs on the camera. So we talked about the 3G, uh, HDSDI uh, for 4K, but this uh, 3, 3G HDSDI can output, as I mentioned, 1920 by 1080 all the way to 60p, as 
in the progressive mode, it could be the native progressive, it could be segmented progressive frame, or it could have pull down, all three of them. And in the case of the HDMI, uh, we've now added the ability to have native progressive or pull down. So now this camera is compatible with virtually any recorder out there on the market. Now, I'm going to ask you a, a question. The F3 is still an amazing looking camera. I know S-Log is, is a very popular feature. Uh, but you've crammed so many amazing features in this camera. Uh, explain to me how you know you're, this camera isn't necessarily competing directly with the F3. Well, I, uh, this camera is, uh, <laughs> is, is, the price is lower than the F3, but the F3 is still superior in many ways. The F3 has an amazing uh, DSP that allows you to process at a higher bit uh, depth than the, uh, the, these series cameras can. So these are limited to 8 bit. Uh, the, the raw signal will be uh, 12 bit, but this is 8 bit. The, uh, in the case of the F3, we can have 10 bit, which gives you a lot more gradations. And you can have 444 RGB coming out of the camera. You have S-Log that allows you to capture even greater uh, exposure latitude or dynamic range. And it has also 3D link where you can lock two cameras together to shoot 3D. It has our RCP 700 protocol. You can connect the, uh, the F3 to the same uh, control systems that are used in, by high-end cameras. So as you can see, the F3 is a camera that has a greater capability. Uh, F3 is found in, in virtually every rental house out there. Um, and uh, this camera will be probably find its way into rental houses as well. But it's not a replacement for the F3. It's a companion to the F3 or to other high-end cameras. And I, I imagine that many, because of its accessible price, it will be um, uh, embraced by many independent producers. Absolutely, because what you've done is you've created high speed in, in a camera that uh, you're not limited to a specific workflow. Uh, the FS100 has been adopted by many as a simpler workflow, very fast workflow, and then you can still maintain that into that high speed realm that we've all wanted. Yes, I, and I failed to mention that the F3 also has gen lock capability and time coding out, which this camera does not include. Well, I'm, I'm sold. I definitely want to get my hands on one. When are they going to be available? Uh, sometime in June. So we expect them uh, to be in the middle of June that will be available for Great. people to purchase. All I want to know is if there's going to be enough. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're spooling up the production line. So, yeah. Well, thanks for your time, Juan. Thank you for Appreciate your interest. It. Thank you. Stay tuned for more coverage fresh from the floor.